Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of a power supply called Dr. Meter. This is a DC power supply PS-305DM. Comes with an instruction manual. Uh, it's not too clearly written, so we're going to uh, go over some of the features of this independently of the manual. Uh, very nice, you have a voltage adjustment fine in course and it goes from 0 to 30 volts and you have a fine and course adjustment for current from 0 to 5 amps so that means it'll produce 30 volts at 5 amps maximum now the power switch is right here turn it on you hear a relay and the first thing you notice you hear a fan so I'm going to show you the back of it, it has a continuous fan going to keep things running cool I think this is a linear power supply. I'm going to open it up. We're going to look at the inside of it. Now it has a ground tab right here, and that is the ground that is connected to earth ground on your 120 volt outlets. You have the minus and the plus. It comes with these basic alligator clips with the banana plugs on there. Now you can see I can hit the, turn the course and I could change the voltage here drop it down or increase it so when you put the fine all the way to the right and of course shown 31.9 now I'm going to also show you how to do constant current on this which is a really nice feature now before we go into the details I'm going to turn this off I'm going to show you the back of the supply there's a little bit of confusion about the position of the power switch on here now if you look here, I'm going to go a little closer. There's that fan I mentioned, by the way. So this AC cord is included. It says 110, 220 volts. So that's just telling you that's the range. Don't look at that as the positional information, because then it would be confusing. So when you click this switch to the right, you see 110 volts displayed. So for 110 volts, you want to click it to the right. And people are getting confused because they see the 220 there. Um, so clicking it to the right, you see 110 volts written right there. If you were to click this to the left, it would show 220 volts in the writing right there. So just kind of ignore that. So for everybody in US, just click that switch to the right and you'll be okay. And it'll say 110 volts right there. So the unit is quite heavy. It's 12 and a half pounds of weight. Um, so it's up there, with, which is why I'm thinking it's a linear supply. Now I have some multimeters over here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to just put them on voltage. And let's take a look at the voltage here. So this multimeter is showing it 19 volts 19.05 and let's increase it 31.9 so you can see it's tracking it quite nicely so if it was not tracking you can adjust the output voltage right there to match what you're measuring right there but I'm not going to do that because it doesn't look like it's necessary I want to mention this stop out button right here what that does is that disconnects the output from the test clips. So you see how it went to zero? That way you could have it on your circuit and then you could essentially put the voltage there once you've got the voltage all stabilized. That's nice. So to do a constant current setup, I turn the power supply on, but first I shorted the leads right here. So I'm going to slowly bring the voltage up and right now it's in milliamps, you can see it's 318 milliamps, because it obviously can't be amps. And you see the constant current light comes on. Now I can adjust this to what I want. Let's say I want to make it one amp, so that it's never going to go above one amp. Now, if I undo this short, now you see I've got full voltage control right there. But if I were to overload it you can see it instantly went to one amp current and that way you could protect your device if it has a one amp upper limit and that's what they're talking about the constant current 
Now I have the meter connected with no load going to my Tektronix scope right here and we're going to just look at the ripple if we can see it. So I have the gain increased on the oscilloscope to 500 millivolts per division and if you look I'm going to try and trigger that signal right there and it looks like the uh, peak to peak there's just a little bit of noise right there the peak to peak is less than 500 millivolts which is really good now we're going to put it under load and we're going to see how much that increases I'm going to put it using that same resistor that I showed earlier and I'm going to connect the resistor right now and now you can see under load it jumped up to 5 amps and what you notice is it's producing 6.97 volts at 5 amps it's fully loaded the current at that voltage and you can see the ripple is still less than 500 millivolts so that's really good that means this thing under the full load it's less than 500 millivolts ripple that's what you want so that shows that it's a very clean power supply now we're going to show the regulation we're going to uh, put this load resistor on and off the supply and we're going to see when the current jumps up what happens to the voltage so there's 2.66 amps 17.1 volts let's remove the load and let's increase that now we're at the highest level 31.8 and it's producing 5 amps and it's still 31.8 so you can see as I put the load on there there's even a little little spark going on right here a lot of current the power supply is not budging it's regulating perfectly and again if you want to uh, hit the stop out button what's nice about that is it'll disconnect that power to that power resistor and then when you're ready again it'll connect it back and produce that 5 amps to it so you see it's got really nice regulation and it is producing the 5 amps through a very low ohms and which is this point getting pretty hot so the, the power supply is working it's regulating and it's running cool it's not shutting down so that's really nice so I took the cover off of the doctor meter DC power supply the PS-305 DM and as I suspected it is an analog supply you could see this very huge AC uh, reduction transformer very nicely built you can see the electronics you can see this large heat sink there is the fan let me change the angle here so you can see that very large heat sink right there that's dissipating the output two power transistors right there and the very large transformer and the main circuit board and you can see all the control knobs and all the wiring right there so this is uh very nicely constructed I can see uh, the wiring job right there looks really nice very clean and very solid which is what you want for a power supply so I really like this power supply the profile is nice and small it seems very well built and as you saw we opened it up and it was a linear power supply with a nice big hefty transformer with nice electronics inside there. So I'm going to give this a full 5 star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. If you like this video please hit the like button also. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.